Tonse! Tonse, people, my name is Sin K. You can call me Sin for short, and welcome to some more Sly 2 and the Band of Thieves. A uh, brief recap last episode. We, uh, I believe, collected all the clockwork parts from Sean Bison. Bison? Bison? I can't fucking say his name. They say it, and, like, it clicks in my head for a little bit, and then it just, oop, out the other, out the other year, man. So, anyways, we, we collected the clockwork puzzles for him at clockwork parts, and then we also, uh, famously got rid of Carmelita for a little bit, and Captain Nela now or Nila, she tried to interfere and we uh, shot her down. I think that's about it. Uh, if my memory serves me right, that was a couple days ago, I believe. Did I did I do that right? I'm not sure. My memory is crap. Anyways, without further ado, we're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, now last time we didn't have enough money for anything, right? Yeah, look at that. It is ridiculous. I'm gonna have to pickpocket like crazy this episode. You guys aren't gonna see it because I'm gonna cut. Anyways, let's get out there. Let's see what missions we need to do. Okay, so here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blimp is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp. But before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talents off Jean Bisson. Time is short and we've got a lot to accomplish. True. True, but first things first, this lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. Alright. Oh my god, what the f Jesus! Oh, he's coming again. Oh my god, there's is that an eagle? Jesus. Why is he so violent? Alright, I wanted to collect some bottles first before we do anything. Oh my lord, he is relentless, bro. That's one. That's two. And this is three. This makes four. Moving along. Oh no. And I believe this is five. There we go. Oh, and there's six. That's what I was looking for. I was hearing it, but I couldn't see it. And here is seven. Ah, yes. All right, and that makes eight. Oh, boy. Moving on. There's number nine. Oh, God. Ten. That's ten. Oh, I didn't know that barrel was going to come down that fast. There's number 11 beside the outhouse. There we go. And this would make the 12. Oh shit, run, there's a bear following me. Oh, well, damn it. Oh, it died. Oh, well, look at that. That's 13, I gotta run. I accidentally didn't hit him properly, run. Mm. Shit. And this makes 14. Not as bad as the last one, but you get it. I did make 15, as you guys just saw. <laughs> There's 16. Moving on. Are you serious? I didn't jump. You're 17 as I'm trying to get away? Really? Bro, I'm like on a sliver of health. How the hell am I alive? Uh, and here's 18. Somehow I'm still alive. <laughs> And this makes 19? Yeah. Mm. 
And this is 20 and 21's down there beside that giant bear, which I collect now. Run. Here's number 22, I believe. Oh, shit. 22. There we go. Oh, my God. 23. I believe seven more to go. Oh, my God. There's 24. There's a bear going wild right now. And this is 25. Five more to go. Scratch that. Well, four more to go. <laughs> Aha! Finally. I figured out a way to get up here. And this is 27. And this makes 28. Moving on. And this is 29. Right here. I'm still looking for number 30. I can't find it. Oh my god, this took me forever to get up here. Jesus Christ. Here we are. Number 30. <sighs> oh, it took forever. All right, we will now begin the mission. Give me a second. Since I don't feel like coming up here again, I'm going to take this treasure. Let us begin the mission. It's good to see my cane upgrade perform so well in the field. Now scout the area. I could really use the reconnaissance. I have to scout this? Oh my god. Alright. Well, I know how to get up there. We'll go up to the top angle first. Oh, that didn't take long. How long did it take me? Let's see. About 15 minutes. Alright, that didn't take that long. I mean, <laughs> it was kind of a bit of uh, footage there. You guys will probably only get like five or six minutes of that, but damn. That took me a while to find that last one. The last one was the hardest to find because, like, I, I looked everywhere, scanned everywhere twice, and I could not find it for the life of me. All right. So we're going to go to the cli uh, to the climbest. We're going to go to the tallest <laughs> uh, building so far that I've been on, or besides the, the, the spotlight or the warehouse or whatever it's called. The light, the lighthouse. Is, is it a lighthouse? Am I getting it right? Or am I like misremembering? Mis yeah, you guys know what I mean. All right. So we are up here and we want to get over there. Oh, we were just past one, but that's fine. How close do I got to be? I'm stupid. I just realized that I am supposed to, um... <laughs> it's kind of weird calling him like a boss or evil. All right. Those saw blades look particularly old. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. You're right, buddy. That's a big bear. This place is bear country, all right. Interesting. He's putting out a slight radio signature. What? Don't tell me this guy's got bears under his control. That'd be kind of fucked up, you know what I mean? Oh shit, how am I spotted? Oh god, run! <sighs> That bear's got, like, magical fucking... Oh, 
Oh god. Alright, we're safe for now. I'll take this. Oh wait, I got it closer. Yes, stand there. Let me take everything. Hell yes, a sapphire? Don't mind if I do. Uh, there we go. Fascinating. My sensors detect a Wi-Fi link to that boat. It must be piloted by computer. Okay, that should do it. Now for the real point of interest. Head for that lighthouse and try to find a way. It is a lighthouse. I was right. Or what is I saying? Warehouse. Oh, you know what? Ignore what I said. <laughs> Oh, that's how we get in here. Oh boy. That's the battery charger, but where's the battery arpeggios coming to pick up? That's the battery, bro. What is that? Oh, not fast enough. Wow, okay, I gotta be really fast with this. There we go. Looking at that spinner makes me dizzy. Uh I'm sure a better way to Oh, there we go. I was right. The entrance is barred from the inside. Barge. Oh, Sly, listen in. He's mumbling to himself. Come on, Jean. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. It's tough being this tough, eh? <laughs> Well, guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. When the Clockwork Talons has a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now, we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. Oh boy, the more I play, the more impressed I am by Bentley, you know what I mean? Like, he's just impressive as hell. Alright, we're gonna do Sly's missions, and then we'll do Murray's. I think that's how the order of things will do them. Start with this right one over here. Alright. The wild bears in the area have been tagged with radio tracking devices. If you can snag enough of them, we should be able to set up a receiver array around Jean Bisson's house. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. The first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. 
That's a bear cave? How the fuck do those big bears fit in there? <laughs> oh, what the hell? I'm trying to go inside. Yo. The radio transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Are you kidding me? Safe. Stay clear of the thin crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. Are you serious? Oh. All right. Well, that doesn't seem so hard. Six. Bro. Let's take this. Come on, open your goddamn mouth. There we go. That's two. One more to go. Uh, come on now. Hell yeah. Three out of six. We're halfway now. Thank God. I don't have to go through this bullshit again. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Oh. Oh, I have to restart. This is no fun. All right. We're going to leave that one for last, I think. Maybe. I'm just a little concerned. Oh, oh, that's right. We can climb on ice. How does that make sense? We can't touch that ice, but we can touch this ice. Oh, my God. Just bothers me. Come on. There we go. Now for the last one. This still bugs me. Like, how does this make sense? <laughs> oh, you can't touch the ice, the crackling ice on the floor, but you can touch the one on the wall. God dang it. Oh, boy. Jesus. There we go. Oh. Oh, boy. You know, Halloween is pretty soon here, if I believe. If I'm correct, so... Only you could have pulled that off. Head outside and I'll fill you in on the next step. Oh my god. I did it! receiver array you'll have to place the radio transmitters in precise locations around Jean Bissant's base of operations seems easy enough once you're in position hit the circle button to place the transmitter hit the circle button to place the transmitter alrighty yo this looks kind of sketched that mammoth there alright time to get up there Oh boy, I have to do all that. Oh shit. Oh, I'm so good at this. I take it back. I take it back. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. It's one. How am I gonna get the rest? Alright, if we go up here and we take this phone line or this pole, this power line, this phone line. And we get onto that silo. I think we'll be good. I think this will all go according to plan. I'm not even sure. Then we just hop on this silo and then wha bam! That's two out of six. Oh my god. That's a lot of forest to get killed off for no reason. <laughs> And killing badgers? Oh my god. 
imagine the the bad the <laughs> the virtual badger population is almost uh extinct huh all right uh now that we're up here there should be yes i want to get the, like this side done and then we can move on to the other side wham bam chicken and ham now to do that silo and the other silo question is how am i gonna get up here without oh wait 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 i see there we go that's four out of six two more to go shouldn't be too difficult considering they're like nearby oh you gotta be kidding me oh shit fuck that up, man five out of six the next one's over there Go, 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 go. I don't give a shit. We're running. We're running for it. We're gunning for it. Hell yeah. Six out of six. Job well done. Ah, you love to see it. Okay, now from here we'll go to there, right? Is that the only mission? It seems like it. Oh boy. Sly, I've detected what appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. <laughs> Oh, bah. Oh, I can't go that way. I guess we gotta... Oh, my. I thought I could... Oh, shit. Laser beams. Laser beams. I got this. I got this. I'm, I'm a fucking gamer. Go, 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 go. Damn. Damn. All this wood, eh? <laughs> Gosh dang it. All this freaking wood. Would you believe me? <laughs> what? Oh boy. Can I take his money while he's laying down? I can. Oh sweet. Thank you, sir. That'll, that'll help with the bills. <laughs> Okay, I forgot what I was supposed to do. I was paying attention, but also not paying attention at the same time. Would you look at that? If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be five, eight, three. Five, eight, three. A lightning spin. That's a nice one. Did you just say Kazoots? All right, what am I supposed to do here, huh? Get to the other side. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't see that moved already. I didn't think it moved. All right. Don't 
Don't ever forget that. I love how good of a boss he is, but he's an evil man. Bad man. Bad. You've done it! The laser's been redirected out the window! Maybe that's why they follow him, because he's so nice. Uh, I get it. Wait, is that is that all we were supposed to do? Seems like it. Now to get that laser pointed at the ice wall, you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. I just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. Ah, see now that's clever. Oh shit. Please. Oh my god, why do you have to stand there? Move! Frustrating. Oh. <laughs> well then. Up there now? Oh my. Alright. Alright, alright. We're good, Sin. We're good. We're good. You don't have to. You don't have to freak out. Oh my god. Run, 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 I had to get rid of that duck. Goose, duck goose, I don't know. I can't tell with this game. <laughs> Alright, uh... How can I... Oh... I was gonna be like, how can I move that? Dude, that's impossible right now. I hit the wall? Oh my god. All right, we finally made it over here, which took me forever. Okay, now to get over there, which isn't going to be too difficult, but maybe this bird will change my mind. Oh, I knew it, it's coming. Are you serious? Oh my god. All right, we made it. Oh, this bird is pissing me off, man. God dang it. Finally made it here. Oh my god. So frustrating. Oh, more. Oh, great. Yippee. Please be the last one. I don't want to die and have to restart. Are you serious? <laughs> oh man, the sneak said this bear. Uh there we go. I am moving my way over there. I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it! I knew there was gonna be something popping up. I just had a feeling, man. I should trust my gut. Alright. Ah! Don't scare me like that! Damn birds. Okay. Finally up here. Oh boy. Oh, are we trying to awaken this mammoth? Is that the thing? Did he fall in the water? Cheer up, pal. He glitched we got out. A log chopping guide. Nice. I can't believe that mammoth died. I think I went in the river, right? 
All right. Uh, I think that's it. Now we go as play as Murray, right? Yeah, from the looks of it, we gotta switch as Murray. So we're gonna do that. All right, Murray, let's go. Come on, big fella. We got a way with our sails. We gotta make our way over there. Oh, shit. All right. Rumor has it that several off-duty guards meet in that cabin for an RC combat club. This is going to be great. I haven't been in any RC combat since that job we pulled in Istanbul. It was awesome. It was awesome, he says. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Run! Run! Are you serious? Those guards will never let you into the combat club without a disguise. That old moose head should do the trick. Only there's no way for you to get up there. Hide out in this barrel while I send in Sly to steal the head. Why does Sly get to steal the head? Oh my god. Where's this barrel? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's like right on my lap. Oh my god, he can exactly fit in there. Sly, if you can get the stuffed moose head without being detected, Murray should be able to join the RC Combat Club without raising any suspicion. Alright. Oh. Oh, damn. Then from here, where I go over here. Oh, you got it. I'll wait until it spins. There we go. Oh, it's another one of these. I'll wait. <laughs> go <laughs> run. Patience is a virtue. Okay. Dude, this is so nerve wracking. Oh my god. Oh, we made it. Thank god. And how am I going to pass that? Oh, we fell asleep. Go. This is my chance. Holy shit, dude. This is intense. And I'm doing it. Where do I go from here? Oh. Murray, heads up. I did it. Yay! Come on, Murray. Oh my god. Hey, fellas. Any of you guys think you can beat the mer... The, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> he that sounds like my dad. <laughs> Oh. Why isn't it working?
Dude, I don't know what's going on. Are you serious? Oh my god. It's like inverted in a way, you know what I mean? It's so weird. Why? Why are you like that, game? Oh, dude, this is so difficult. Why? Why? I think this is going to take a long time. It's the fact that I have to drive really fucked up. I have to keep the camera aligned with me and I got to hold X, which is pretty weird. No, you asshole. Did he just shoot himself? Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. No, I take it back. I take it back. Why does he get flaming fucking defenses? Like, what? No way. Oh my god, he's got the ammo. No fucking way. God dang it. This is so stupid. Oh my god, what's with this ammo being near his ass? Stop moving, camera, stop it. Stop it, you stupid camera. Oh my god, this camera. It like moves on its own and it's pissing me off. Holy hell, fuck this guy. Fuck him. Oh no, I'm stuck. And he's fucking flaming me like, I don't get flames. Go move, 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 move. No! <laughs> Shit. I hate this fucking mini game. Oh my god. I hate the controls for this. Come on. Come on. No, that's mine. No! Turn! Turn, you insolent fucking guy! Goddamn fucking bullshit! Come on! Oh, please be enough! You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. <laughs> I guess I oh yeah. You won, eh? <laughs> After reading through the log shopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, huh?
All right, people. That looks like it's going to be the end of this episode. I know it sucks. Things are getting spicy and good and usu juicy. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed me fucking getting mad there. <laughs> Like, I cannot, I shit you not, that was like probably the hardest mini game I've had to play. Oh my god. The camera moved on its own. I had no control over moving very much. And the camera was hard to move on its own and I had to hold gas and I had to keep moving. And if he got too close to me, he flamed the shit out of me. If I flipped over, he'd come over and flame me. It was just, ah. <sighs> Oh, so annoying. Anyways, I'll stop taking up much of your day as I already have today. Make sure to come join the Discord, like and subscribe, do all that jazz. And with that, bye bye. Smiley, have a great day. Make sure to enjoy yourself. Snuggle up with some tomato soup and grilled cheese. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.